Vision Pro. This is Apple's first mixed reality headset that offers both augmented and virtual reality content. And it does combine the best of both worlds, seamlessly blending digital content with the physical environment. It was just announced on June 5th at the WWDC, introducing the era of spatial computing. And here's what you need to know about it. Let's start off by discussing the design. Vision Pro features a laminated glass front and an aluminum alloy frame. It comes with a soft and fitted light seal that attaches magnetically, blocking out any external light to enhance your immersive experience. The headband stretches and has a fit dial that allows you to adjust it precisely to your head. Regarding sensors and cameras, there are over a dozen. Outside, there are two main cameras, two downward cameras, two infrared illuminators, two side cameras, a true depth camera, a LiDAR scanner, and on the inside, there are infrared cameras and other LED illuminators. The headset utilizes two micro OLED displays, which are super sharp and precise, that feature 23 million pixels, which is more than a 4K TV for each eye. And also, it looks like it has a refresh rate estimated to be around 120 Hz. This, of course, ensures stunning visuals and a truly immersive experience. And for those who wear glasses, Apple does offer custom prescription Zeiss optical inserts that magnetically attach to the lenses. If you're curious about the pricing for the inserts, they're likely going to cost between three to $600, according to Mark Gurman. When it comes to the audio experience, Vision Pro features audio straps with built-in speakers positioned on the sides of the headset, delivering spatial audio. This means that not only you hear what's happening in the virtual world, but you also stay connected to the real world around you. Now let's talk about its capabilities. It functions as a mixed reality headset displaying augmented reality content overlaid on the world around you, as well as providing a fully immersive virtual reality experience. It's important to note that the headset is not see-through, so everything you see is digital, which is even more impressive because the world around you still looks so real. This is made possible by using the cameras that map out your surroundings and then augment them with virtual elements. Something pretty cool is that the apps blend so well with your environment that they even cast shadows according to the lighting in your room. And for a complete virtual reality experience, the cameras are turned off, isolating you from the physical world and allowing you to focus solely on the content displayed on the headset screens. This transition between the real and the immersive can be controlled with a digital crown. Now, when it comes to entertainment, Vision Pro takes it to the next level because whether you want to watch movies or play games, the headset offers a fully immersive experience. For example, you can watch shows and movies in a personalized cinema environment or choose to be fully immersed in a landscape that can help you focus. Apple has also made collaboration and communication a priority with Vision Pro. FaceTime has been redesigned specifically for this device, enabling users to collaborate on documents, share apps, and experience spatial audio during calls. It's a whole new level of virtual communication. And yes, you can be in a FaceTime call, but instead of showing your actual face, the system creates a 3D model of you using the sensors and cameras. This avatar mirrors your facial movements, including eye tracking, making the experience more personal. And for sure, it doesn't substitute or it doesn't give you the same result as seeing an actual person talking, but it is pretty cool. Another jaw-dropping feature that Apple announced at the event is called EyeSight. Basically, when someone approaches you while wearing the headset, it creates a transparent effect, allowing you to see them while also displaying your eyes to them. It's a digital representation of your eyes. This enables others to understand where your attention is focused, whether you're immersed in a virtual environment or using a specific app. When you're fully immersed, your eyes are completely hidden behind a full screen animation. Now, controlling Vision Pro is very easy because instead of traditional controllers, Apple utilizes eye tracking, 
hand gestures, and voice commands. You can navigate through apps and highlight them by simply looking at them. And then open a desired app by tapping your fingers. To ensure seamless authentication and security, Apple has integrated Optic ID, which scans your iris using infrared lights and cameras. This feature is, of course, similar to Face ID and Touch ID, and it can be used to unlock the device, make purchases, and replace passwords. Inside the headset, you will find two powerful Apple Silicon chips, the M2, which runs the Vision OS and provides graphics, and the new R1 chip, which processes input from the cameras, sensors, and microphones. This combo ensures smooth performance and efficient processing of all the headset's functionalities. Now, a cool feature that can also be kind of scary is its ability to capture and relive moments in 3D. With a built-in camera, you can easily capture 3D photos and videos by tapping the top button of the device. Apple promises a whole new level of immersion when relieving those moments, and at the event, they showed an example of a dad recording his kid blowing out birthday candles. And of course, this is pretty cool, but at the same time, I don't think it would look that nice for someone to be wearing a headset in a birthday party. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. To power Vision Pro, Apple opted for a braided cable that connects to a battery pack that supports up to two hours of use, which is definitely not much. And users can either put it in the pocket or leave it on the couch when sitting, for example, or of course you can plug in. I'm sure that third-party battery packs will be released soon, but Apple's battery pack supports up to two hours of battery life, which is definitely not much. The headset runs on Vision OS, which is its own dedicated operating system and has its own dedicated app store. If you want, you have the option to connect it to your Mac and use it as a display, which I'm definitely looking forward to, or run iPhone and iPad apps. Now let's talk about availability and pricing. Apple Vision Pro is set to launch in early 2024 in the US with a starting price of $3,500. And that's Vision Pro with its cutting edge features, stunning design and immersive experience. It's set to change the way that we interact with digital content forever. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.